The coordinates place the research facility in the Lancar Nebula. Difficult to access. And even harder to find. I think that's the whole idea. Depending on how long we intend to stay in the vicinity, we'll have to divert power to the shield. Hang on a sec. We don't even know for sure the blink drive is there. Uh, that station is the most important military research facility in the entire Ishida Empire. At least that's the way Four remembered it. We know that he's trying to replicate the technology for his fleet. Anyway, it's the only lead we have. What kind of defenses can we expect? Impossible to say. Ships? I doubt it. The facility's obviously designed to withstand any radiation from the nebula. And any ships that are in the area, they would just have the same problem as us. They wouldn't stay for long. They're obviously relying on stealth and secrecy. Which gives us the advantage. We take out their defenses, board the station, grab the device, and get the hell out of there before they have a chance to call for reinforcements. Smash and grab. It's just my style. And then what? I mean, if we get the drive, are we really gonna go after four? He killed Nix. And you want revenge? Isn't that what we do? We did it for one. Jace Corso wasn't a member of this crew. He wasn't one of us. Four was. Oh, hell, that just makes it worse. But going after the drive, I get. But putting our lives on the line to settle a score? So what are you saying? We just let him get away with it? He already did. Nix is dead. And killing four isn't gonna bring her back. Ishida Station. All right, the Marauders prepped and ready to go. They're returning fire. Our shields are holding. You didn't really think it was going to be that easy, did you? Hit them again. Target weapons only. Targeting weapons. Weapons are down. Open a channel. Go ahead. Ishida Research Facility. This is the Raza. Your weapons are down and you're at our mercy. Open your main shuttle bay so we can board. If you don't comply, we will destroy you. We know who you are, Raza, and we know why you're here. Destroy us, and you lose your prize. Transmission terminated. Scan for compatible airlocks. Understood. By now, they've probably already called for help. We're on the clock here, boss. We've still got time. You don't know how far away their closest ship is. They could be here in minutes. Not likely. Oh, come on. Just admit it. You're winging it on this one. It's not a criticism. Kind of like it. But even if we find a compatible airlock for the Marauder to dock, how do we get the inner doors open? Trust me, kid. That's the easy part. I'm picking up some unusual energy readings emanating from the station. Something to do with the nebula, maybe? I don't think so. Wait a minute. You don't think they would try to use the drive, do you? Where do you suppose they went? The most likely place would be Zyra. Then we have to go after them. Even if we're right, it would take us six days to get there. And there would be an overwhelming force waiting for us. Well, we have to do something. What? I'm detecting an anomalous energy signature. It's coming from the position recently vacated by the station. Show me. Have you ever seen anything like this before? No. Normal blink drive operation leaves very little in the way of residual energy. Nothing compared to this. Maybe it wasn't a normal jump. Maybe they didn't go where they wanted to. Maybe it's simply a malfunction in the system array as a result of continued exposure within the nebula. All right, I'll go down and check the array. In the meantime, run that data through every analytical model you have. If it can tell us anything about what happened or where they went, I want to know. Understood. The array checked out. Everything's fine. Whatever the anomaly is, it's for real. The most peculiar thing is that it persists without any apparent source, at least not in our space-time. Wait a minute. 
What if when they went through, they created a kind of rip or tear between here and wherever they went? That's what the anomaly is, just one end of the tear. An interesting theory. If it's true, then as long as the tear persists, we may be able to use it to trace where they went. Exactly. I'm on my way back up. Receiving an incoming subspace transmission. Five, come in. Android, it's good to see you again. Four. Or should I call you Emperor Rio Ishida? Just Rio would be fine. What do you want? <laughs> Straight to the point. Excellent. I know you attacked my research station. Yes. I sent in a transit clone to assess the situation, but lost contact. In fact, we lost all contact with the station. I'm not surprised. Of course. This could be due to any number of reasons, but the most obvious is you killed everyone on board. That would be one possibility. And yet somehow I doubt it. Care to enlighten me? Why should I? Maybe it would be best if I talked to a human crew member. Let me speak with two. She's not available. How about Nix? You want to speak to Nix? I know we didn't end on the best of terms, but... You killed her. What are you talking about? I found her body, Ryu. After you came on board and stole the blink drive. I'm sorry. I had to give you a stimulant. How did I get in here? I found you passed out. You were unresponsive. I was in one of my memories. Although it was more like a dream. Has this ever happened before? I think maybe earlier today. We should run a scan. No, there's no time for that. What about the anomaly? We need to find the others. I'm working on it. What do you mean? I've been sending a modulated beam of tachyons into the rift. If it really is a connection between here and wherever they went, they should be able to detect it. I'm monitoring for a response. That's it? For now, it's all we can do. So? You appear to be suffering from cascading synaptic failure in several areas of your brain associated with the processing of long-term memory. What's causing it? Unknown. But if I had to guess... The mind probe. We may have used it one too many times. I have persistently warned everyone of the dangers involved. I know, it's not your fault. It's gonna get worse, isn't it? The fugue states you've been experiencing will most likely increase in duration and frequency until they become permanent. Is there anything we can do? She collapsed for a third time just before the Marauder reappeared. I believe the best course of action would be to attempt to recreate the conditions that caused the initial mind wipe with some modifications. You gotta be kidding. The memories are effectively superseding her conscious mind. They need to be isolated, walled off as yours have been. What about her new memories? The ones that she made after we came out of stasis? I'll do my best to protect and insulate all new memories, but I can't guarantee success. There is a significant chance that she may lose some, if not all of them. And without a clean neural imprint to work from, they'll be inaccessible for the rest of her life. Did you explain this to her? I did, before she lost consciousness. 
She said if it was the only way, we had to take the chance. 